All right, so we have four charges of a known uh, charge, 50 nanocoulomb, right? And we want to find out what three of these charges are going to do to this fourth charge, A, right here. That's basically what the question is. So let's start drawing this out. A is going to be, uh, oh yeah, another thing to note is that the z-axis is not really relevant in this problem because um, z is equal to zero at every single point. So you can just use a 2D plane, simple enough. So A is going to be this one right here. Um, C will be at zero, 0,1. D will be at zero, negative 0,1. I'm doing these the same color on purpose. And then the last one will be right here. And that's supposed to be a blue. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we can notice is that these two vec these two um, charges, since they're the uh, same charge, same distance away, and they have the same angle, they're gonna they're gonna cancel each other out. Look, this one's gonna go like that, and this one's gonna go like this. The vertical components are gonna cancel each other out, and then we're gonna be left with double um, whatever the horizontal component was, and that makes our math really easy because we just take the Coulomb's law equation and we multiply it by two, and then we also have to find out the horizontal component, and but that's simple enough. All we have to we could do that right now, actually. So let's make a little triangle, right? So we know it's one down and one over. The the distance is just going to be the Pythagorean theorem of that, which is square root of two. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this stuff by now. So uh, we want the horizontal component. So that's simply just the cosine of that, which is opposite over adjacent, which we take this to be theta. It really doesn't matter because it's a 45 degree angle. It'd be one over square root of two. So one over square root of two is the is the uh, horizontal component in the ax direction, and then r is going to be equal to square root of two. So now that we know all that, we can start doing the uh, the Coulomb's law, uh, the sum of all the Coulomb's law. So F, this is just Coulomb's law, I'm just writing it down just so we know it. 4, four pi epsilon naught r squared. Okay, so F total is going to be these two charges and this charge all added together. So let's start with the, the two charges because I already started talking about that. So since there's two, we multiply by two, like I was saying. It's going to be 50 nanocoulombs, because all the charges are 50 nanocoulombs. So it's going to be 50 nanocoulombs, and then another 50 nanocoulombs, which over 4 pi epsilon naught. What's R? R is root 2, like we said. Square. And then don't forget that since it's in the the x direction, we only care about the uh, the horizontal component. We have to apply this uh, one over square root of two to get the right component. And then for the blue, let's do a dot 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 plus. For the blue, it's going to be not a, not another two because there's only one of them, right? Fifty. It's going to be fifty nanocoulomb charge because this is fifty nanocoulombs. This is 50 nanocoulombs, that's another 50. And you could square these, but you know, I'm just writing it out just to make it easier. What's R? That's simple, it's just the distance from here to here. Well, that's two, right? Right, this is two from here to here. Okay, so that's two squared. And uh, from here, you just plug in your numbers. This is also in the x direction. You're gonna get some total force some total force in the right, in the x direction. It's going to be heading in this direction right here. Boom. Thank you. Goodbye.